Hello, Farrister here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Star Citizenship The Consolidated Out and Mustang Alpha. Star Citizen is currently in alpha testing and the Mustang is one of the flyable ships. The Mustang is a basic starter ship described as light freight. I've followed the usual format for this review, splitting into five sections, starting with a ship tour, assessing combat performance, reviewing handling and visibility, looking at the operating and purchasing costs before finally summarising. I've included timestamps in the video description to help navigate to each part of the review. And if you enjoy this review, please do subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. That helps you to be notified of future videos and helps me to grow the audience. Part 1. Ship Tour and Deck Layout As a small ship, the tour for the Mustang is very quick. The four units of cargo storage are underslung beneath the tail, and access to the pilot's cockpit is via a ladder on the port side. And that's just about it. Part 2. Combat Performance So, unlike the Delta, the Mustang Alpha isn't really marketed as a combat ship. Beneath the nose is a gimbal turret, which equips two size 2 weapons. There are also two size 1 fixed hardpoints, one on each wingtip which in default configuration are not used. And the Alpha doesn't have any missile hardpoints. Combat is... Ugh. In stock configuration, it's painful. The two weapons do pretty measly damage, and to make matters worse, overheat after next to no time. It's not a fun combat experience, which is a disappointment, especially given that the main competition would be the Aurora, and the aesthetics of the two would lead you to believe that Mustang was some incredible combat fighter. On the upside, it's fairly easy to keep the nose pointing at the target, so when your weapons aren't overheating, they're slowly picking away at the target. Slowly. Part 3. Handling and Visibility Starting with visibility, the Mustang has a solid offering. Visibility out to the front is excellent, continuing above and into the peripheral vision to the sides. I particularly appreciate the way that the display sits naturally just beneath the eyeline field of view, feeling easy to see but not obtrusive. It's easy to see what's happening during takeoff and landing, which since doing these ship reviews has become a key test for me. As far as handling, I'd cautiously say it's a bit of a mixed bag. At medium to high speeds, the Mustang handles fairly well, performs as you might expect, and critically performs favourably to the Aurora. It does get a little jittery at low speeds though, which can be very frustrating when landing. It's particularly noticeable with the gear down. I suspect it's due to the way that the thrusters are placed, but the end result is that you'll often find the Mustang moves unexpectedly and in an unexpected direction. Now, I'm not the best pilot, so it could purely be my pilot skill or lack thereof. But equally, I've got a lot of flight time under my belt in different ships, and the Mustang is supposed to be a starter ship, so it really should be easier to control. Within atmosphere, or near the surface of a moon, it's the same story. Fairly easy to fly at medium to high speeds, but needing a little more caution as the speed comes down. It's still fun to do the low-level flying in the Mustang, which I suppose contrasts to the Aurora in the level of confidence and skill needed to do so. The Quantum Drive is fairly mediocre, but I suppose that's the standard for ships at this price point. Part 4. Operating Costs Thankfully, the Mustang is cheap to refuel, repair, rearm, or even replace. The challenge comes in what avenue you choose to cover that cost. For a starter ship, in the Mustang Alpha, the options are very limited. In an Aurora or a Reliant, there are lots of options. Combat, delivery, contract missions, etc. In the Mustang Alpha, though, it's pretty much just combat missions against the weakest of opponents or using the tiny cargo bay to make measly profits. 
That's because, despite there being a storage area behind the pilot's seat that could be used for boxes, it's completely inaccessible. I spent a good couple of minutes trying to get in there for a salvage mission, but failed completely. I hope that gets fixed, as some of those type of missions are perfect for new starters. And although it's described as a light freight ship, realistically it should be described as ultralight. With just four units of cargo storage, each run is going to give very limited opportunity for profits. The Mustang will turn a technical profit each run, but it will take a very, very long time to build up any kind of capital doing so. The purchase cost for a brand new Mustang Alpha is just over 250,000 Alpha UEC in-game, which I'd say is only worth it for a collector, or $45 as a starter pack for a new player. Part 5. The Verdict Alright, so here I'll say that I'm specifically talking about the Mustang Alpha, and with a view of whether it's a good buy for a new backer. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to say a hard no. For anybody looking to get into Star Citizen, I'd absolutely recommend paying the extra $20 for the Avenger Titan starter pack instead. It's a much more versatile option which offers a wider experience of what Star Citizen can offer. For me, the Mustang Alpha is just a little disappointing. I quite like the looks of it, but it has limited use in cargo running, limited use in combat, and zero use right now in anything that requires box delivery. I think the only use case where it might be alright is for touring and for somebody who just likes to see the environments, but then there are better options for that. Whilst I'm sure there are some fans out there, the Mustang just doesn't have the same cult following as an Aurora, so in summary I'm going to have to say I'd avoid the Mustang Alpha. Once again, thank you to all those of you who subscribe to the channel. Please press that like button if you enjoyed watching. For anybody looking for a group who plays the current patch of Star Citizen regularly, I've included a link to my organisation in the video description. And to close out, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll hear from me in the next video.